Okay, Cafe Fiorello is a, an institution here in New York City. Uh, it's right across the street from Lincoln Center, and some claim that it has uh, the best pizza in the entire city. Yeah, but it's not just the food that's packing people into this place. It's the owner who makes everyone feel like they're at home. It's the G Thing. G Thing, brought to you by Northwell, who believes when we raise health, we raise everyone. Northwell, raise health. All right, everybody, you're about to go into one of my favorite restaurants in New York City, if not my favorite. It's Fiorello's. And man alive, do they have an owner that I cherish. And also, wait till you see. And wait till I eat. And wait till I explain this margarita pizza. Don't tell me about who experts are. Right here, margarita pizza, best in the country. Jesus, it's been a long time. Where the heck have you been? Table for how many? 25, 30 today? 40? I don't have 25 friends. Let's go sit down and eat. Shelly, how many restaurants do we have now? I think 10, 11, 12. I don't, I don't count because I gotta, if I count, I'll get overwhelmed. Shelly Fireman is an accomplished restaurateur behind some of the most loved restaurants in New York City, including Trattoria del Arte, Bon 45, Red Eye Grill, and of course, Cafe Fiorello at Lincoln Center. How did the first one start? How that, what was that on, on my moment? I gotta do this. Okay, it was the stupidest thing I ever said. I'm standing on McDougal Street, and I was with a bunch of guys. I looked around McDougal Street, and I said, you know what this world needs? A bagel. Make a bagel hip. I, as it came out of my mouth, I fell in love. I went into his business with 500 bucks. That was back in the 60s, and Shelley is still going strong, continuing to expand his restaurant empire. But the ideas turned me on. Shelley runs a well-oiled machine, which he attributes to his staff. We have people that care, and that's what's important. We care about doing the right thing, that's all. There's a man who cares. Look, there's a... All the guys enjoyed. I love your margarita pizza. Right. Best I've ever had. Thank you. Do you have a favorite dish? That antipasto bar that I developed so many years ago that I found in Capri in Italy is what I really eat. The appetite for his good food attracts crowds, including lots of celebrities. They've even had a few famous actors working here. Kevin Bacon used to work here as a busboy. How does it feel, big actors, and now you're sitting with a, a weatherman, a New York weatherman? What, what's that feeling like for you? If you can pay the check, I'm happy. That's it. That's it. And no matter who you are, Shelly wants you to feel at home. Nice to see Hello, you. Never, see I, you. I, well, I'm well. Uh, Where would you put me in the restaurant? With your personality and hugging, I would put you up front. So, so I'd be a greeter at the door? Yeah, you'd be a hugger. A hugger. A hugger. A hugger means uh, so good to see you. You, you got to mean that. They could go, think how many places they could go to. And they came to you. You know how special it is when they come to you and they don't go next door or another place? It was finally time for me to dig into my pizza. It's the best pizza in New York City. You're the best restaurateur in New York City. Um, this is this is the best. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. All right. You said I'm a greeter. Well, for what you just said, you deserve another. Oh, this is great. Wow. Gee, you didn't bring us any pizza back. Yeah. Not a chance. <laughs> Some pasta, anything? <laughs> Nothing. I never made it to the car. But <laughs> I want to tell you something about this guy, right? Uh, he is the anti-pasta guy who created the bar and the restaurant. He's got 10 restaurants. He's building three more wow. in Manhattan. And he just keeps on going. He's my kind of guy. He's got zip. He's got action. Mm -hmm. He's got smarts. And uh, I have another career as a hugger. Yes. Yeah, apparently. Yes. And you're his, apparently his number one customer.